Let's talk about other relative pronouns. The pronoun lequel, laquelle, lesquels, lesquels means which, which one. It is used when indicating a choice. For instance, j'ai acheté deux robes, dis-moi laquelle tu préfères. I bought two dresses, tell me which one you prefer. Or sometimes as a subject of a relative clause to avoid ambiguity or in literary or administrative language. For example, j'ai rencontré l'épouse de mon frère, laquelle est médecin. I have met my brother's wife, who is a doctor. With qui, it would be unclear whether the brother or his wife is a doctor. Lequel, before a preposition, corresponds to the English preposition followed by which, or just a preposition at the end. It is used for things and occasionally for people. For instance, la chaise sur laquelle il s'est assis est cassée. The chair on which he sat is broken. The chair he sat on is broken. À lequel, auquel, à lequel, auquel, de lequel, duquel, de lequel, desquels. For example, le manoir à côté duquel nous avons emménagé est hanté. The mansion we moved next to is haunted. Qui, after a preposition, corresponds to the English preposition followed by whom, or just the preposition at the end. It is used only for people. For instance, la jeune fille à qui j'ai parlé est physicienne. The young woman I spoke to is a physicist. The relative pronoun dont equates to the preposition de and a noun phrase. It means of which, of whom, whose. It can also mean about which, about whom. For example, la jeune fille dont je t'ai parlé est physicienne. The young woman I told you about is a physicist. Dont is also used to single out a member of a group previously mentioned. For instance, il avait plusieurs collègues, dont mon professeur. He had several colleagues, including my professor. We use ce, followed by a relative pronoun, to emphasize something, when there is no nominal antecedent or when the antecedent is a whole clause or tout. It is only, you, only used for things. For instance, tout ce que je veux pour Noël c'est toi. All I want for Christmas is you. Ce qui is a subject of the relative clause. It means which or what. For instance, il ne s'est pas lavé les mains, ce qui n'est pas hygiénique. He did not wash his hands, which is not hygienic. Ce que is the direct object of the relative clause. It means which or what. For example, fais ce que tu veux. Do what you like. Ce dont replaces the preposition de and the noun phrase. For example, Dis-moi ce dont tu as besoin. Tell me what you need. Ce plus preposition plus quoi replaces any preposition except de followed by a noun phrase. For instance, Ils ont perdu le match, ce à quoi je ne m'attendais pas. They lost the game, which I did not expect. Finally, ou, with a grave accent, is a relative pronoun that replaces a location. For instance, je vais au magasin où on vend des appareils électroménagers. I am going to the shop where household appliances are sold. But also a time, a moment. For example, le jour où mon frère est né a été le plus beau jour de ma vie. The day my brother was born was the best day of my life. Don't forget to watch the last video on interrogative adjectives and pronouns. Au revoir.